My name is Charlene Ferguson. I'm the Holistic Therapist here at the Good Shepherd Centre. Holistic therapy is a form of healing the body as a whole. It's a method of reducing stress, reducing anxieties and inducing relaxation. What I have done is taken holistic therapy and targeted it here for young people. Holistic therapy is amazing. Charlene's amazing, the room's amazing, it all looks amazing. And it's helped me in a lot of ways with like calm myself down, just relaxing and chilling in this like nurturing environment. Young people come into this centre for varying reasons. Um, they appear to function at a higher level of anxiety and that's like their baseline normal. The effects of this, um, this chronic stress and anxiety, it has an effect on our physiology and it can be quite apparent in some young people in here. So holistic therapy allows them to come into the therapy room and actually feel what it feels like to be physically relaxed. And for a lot of our young people, they've never experienced that physical relaxation ever. One of the most important things I get across to them is if you're physically relaxed, you can't be mentally stressed out. And it's trying to make that link between body and mind. And it has, it's actually quite powerful. Well, usually when Charlene comes and gets it, I'm in a bad mood. And then Charlene takes me into a room and she puts all the lights on and her sprays and helps me relax. And then when you're in Charlotte's room, you don't have to think about anything that you're worrying about. And if you are worrying about it, you can speak to Charlene about it. Charlene makes you feel safe and makes you trust people. What I do treatment-wise is I adapt quite a range of sequences and different massage strokes from different disciplines and combine them to focus on our young people. I give them taster sessions of all different sort of techniques and they, they choose, they choose what they enjoy and before you know it they're coming in and saying I want this, this, this and this. So I walk in, it smells amazing, like lavender oils and everything. Um, I come in, she's very welcoming. Um, she asks you what you want done and she does it. Um, and she's really good. The more focused treatments such as reflexology is really, really good because we get to discuss the science behind it, the importance of it, the benefits. And although that is done on the feet, and young people usually don't like that, it can be applied to the hands. So not only can I carry out the treatment on the young people, I can teach them ways to do things on their own when they're in their own room. And they can be quite effective. Each young person is allocated one session per week. They are aware of what day they'll be coming. They look very much forward to it. There's also the additional support um, need as well. Young people can access holistic therapy if they've just come out from a difficult meeting and they feel going back to the room or going back to education, they're just not quite taking everything in yet. This is a nice space to come in just to get off what's just happened, receive some treatments and then go back with their day. So it's really, it's really beneficial in that aspect. If we were coming over, we can obviously talk to you about stuff. Like, it doesn't have to be about always constantly getting massages, like building a relationship and all. Within education during their school day, a young person, if they're struggling, if they're feeling really anxious, they're worried about something, and they're, they're just not quite getting through their school day, it could be beneficial for them to come over here receive some treatments, get off their chest, whatever it is they're concerned about, and when they leave here again, they're in a better headspace. And when we're in the unit as well, we can use Charlene's room, and when we come down, we just lie on the floor pillows, or just lie on the bed, or use the machines, and they just make us forget things, because being insecure is stressful sometimes. In terms of the benefits of young people with ADHD, um, the benefits are so remarkable. They are really instantly evident. A young person can be jumping about a classroom, um, talking non-stop. When they come in here, people probably wouldn't believe it, but they can actually lie down and receive a treatment, be still, be quiet, peaceful, for up to 45 minutes at a time. After it, she'll let you speak, let you lie down for another five minutes, just let you chill. Just nice all round. And the benefits of having ADHD, just when I leave, I'm just more relaxed and ready for school and just ready to go to classes and just puts me in a positive mood for the rest of the day, obviously. Just 
nice all around for the rest of the day. No problems, no misbehaving, just everything goes well. The young people are just able to just receive the treatments. They don't have to do any work. They just enjoy the benefits. Body systems are lowered, um, heart rate drops, which promotes relaxation, which reduces anxiety symptoms. Young people don't actually grasp that if their body is slowed down, if their body's relaxed, it encourages deep breathing. And when you are breathing properly, you physically can't feel anxiety. So it's a bit of psychoeducation and holistic therapy combined in that sense, where you're teaching them about the body and you're showing them and they're, ex they're able to fully experience the effects for themselves. Another aspect would be young people not realising that muscles can become tense and overworked due to physical activity, but also through stress. And if you're constantly switched on and on alert, it, do, it does change your, your physiology. And it's good to get that aspect across to the young people. They become really surprised at just how much your body is linked with your mental health and your well-being. I come into Shawland class, it's just relaxing. Everything just smart, clean, it's nice and dark, there's music, it's relaxing. Straight away, I'm just ready to get a massage. <laughs> uh, when she does it, she usually chats or just lets you doze away into a nice sleep. We have a whole range of sensory toys in the therapy room. They have become more popular than I could ever have imagined. Um, it's just a fidget toy. It is just purely for focusing their mind on something else at times where they might not be managing. So a lot of young people, when they are ready to leave the Good Shepherd, have asked their social worker to source them holistic therapy in the community. Um, that's becoming increasingly popular and there's a lot of young people at the minute who are still engaging in that service. Before I came in here, I didn't like people giving me massages and helping me relax, but since being in here, I like it now and maybe when I get out, I'll do something like that. I guess what I want from this room is for a young person to, as soon as they walk through the door, they just feel that sense of calm. And that's what I'm looking for, for them to come here, escape, escape from the world outside, um, escape from their worries, switch off their mind for a little while, because I'm guessing they probably have never done that before. So all these wee personal touches really help. The treatments are fa fantastic and they're really beneficial. I will rake you, she gives you a massage first and she does ask my time. She puts her horns on her and it feels like does like it feels like she's touching you man, but she's like she's just hovering on you and then it gives you it gives you a pure real well feeling. And then left like after it man, you, you just you think you feel you're you feel like you're buying on man, but it's your nose are just naturally high. For me it's about nurturing relationships and you can't get more nurturing than doing holistic therapy. So that bond I have with the young people, it's not just a treatment based programme, it's not just let's come in and have a massage, it's way much more than that.